guys, it's Catherine, and this Fangirl Freakouts video is very nostalgic. So, with the whole Pokemon Go craze that's been going on, I've been thinking about when I was super into Pokemon when I was little. Um, okay, little and then when I was also older. But anyway, so, um, when I was a kid, I was really, really into Pokemon. I even still have a Pikachu that I bought when I was on vacation in Florida. The tail like split and it was like glued back together. Um, the weird thing for me is that while a lot of people played, like the video game was a huge deal, when I was younger my folks wouldn't let me play video games at all. Like I was not allowed to have a gaming system. I could play games on the computer but only like educational games. But they let me get the like Pokemon card games and the books and I could do all of, like I could play the card game as much as I wanted, or watch the shows, or do all of that, I just wasn't allowed to play the video game. So I literally had no idea how the video game worked. I still don't. I have a brother, I've mentioned him before, he has a bunch of the games, like, and Game Boys that he plays, and he was like, oh, you can try it. He totally gave me one of them to attempt to play, and I was so confused. I, I didn't, I don't know why I was so confused, but I was. But I used to be really good at the card game. Like, I played the card game all the time. I used to try and go to the Toys R Us meetups. Does anyone remember those where they had the, like, Saturday morning Pokemon game tournament? Like, you played the card game all the time. I was so, like, I wasn't that level good. I played with my, like, friends. I had a friend named Ashley, and we were obsessed. So we, like, tried to collect as many of the cards as possible. We had, like variants of stuff. We were like tracking down different evolutions of stuff. So like I had all the... I had Dragonite, Dragonair, and Dratini. Like I had all of them. I had like Dark Jolteon, Dark Flareon because I really liked the um, the Eevee evolutions. I was really into them and I really liked Electric and Psychic Pokemon. So I had a bunch of Electric and Psychic cards. So we just we played that all the time and then because I was younger we would play like you know, you like imagination games where like you used to just like pretend stuff. We used to pretend to like go catch Pokemon or like that we were Pokemon trainers and like would play with the little plastic versions. I used to have maybe keychain and I it broke and I don't know where she is anymore. But like we had like keychains and like little plushies like this one. This is the only one I still have. And we would just like play it all the time and like watch the show all day Saturday, like on cas not cassettes, of uh, VHS tapes all the time. But what's really awkward is just because I didn't play the video game, <laughs> even though like Pokemon Go sounds really cool, I'm just like, I don't, I didn't play the game. So it's different. Like, I downloaded it on my phone, like literally an hour ago, and I've caught a Charmander and a Metapod and that's it. And like, I want to play with it more. It's just, it's a different experience for me because like, the idea of the game makes me want to like, rewatch the TV show and like, I don't, I don't even know where my cards are anymore. At one point I gave them to my brother because he was really into them and I wasn't really using them. So, like, I really just want to, like, find all my old stuff and, like, relive the magic of playing the card game and flipping the little holographic coin to determine if you, like, took down your opponent and all of that. And, like, I'm going to try. I'm going to try Pokemon Go because it looks fun. Uh, the issue is I don't go anywhere cool, so a lot of it, I'm like, I have to go to work and I can't really wander the video store trying to catch Pokemon or I will get fired. I mean, yeah, which would suck. Getting fired for like wandering the store with my phone out would be awful. But I just, I don't know. I don't really go anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna try and be adventurous. I have a day off this week, so maybe I'll see if my brother has the, has it downloaded too. So maybe he and I will go do something exciting. like wander the park or go somewhere and try and catch wild Pokemon, which is really cool. Like, I used to have forever ago, I do not have it anymore. I had like a sort of Ash costume. I even wore it to school once and did a book report. Yes, I did a book report presentation while dressed as Ash with this Pikachu in the third grade because I read one of the books that was all about Pikachu. Like, I had so many books and I took my, like I made my mom go to the first movie with me when it came out. The one where they introduced Mewtwo? Yeah, no, we went to that and she hated it because it had the like Pikachu's Vacation tra like mini movie at the beginning and she was like, this is, I can't, why did you bring me here? Yes, 
I was super, super into Pokemon. And like, I secretly see Pikachu stuff a lot, and I'm like, I want that. But I'm not as into it anymore. And then I feel like I'm like, I'll, I feel like I'm sort of like lying. Like, I was really into it when I was a kid, and now I'm not. But I will never get rid of this Pikachu. I love this little Pikachu. I've had this forever. Forever. She's so pretty. Mm. Okay, so I just wanted to share like Pokemon nostalgia that I was feeling this week because of the Pokemon Go app. Um, let me know what you did. Like, are you playing Pokemon Go? Did you play the video games as a kid? I feel like everyone did except me. Did you play the card game? Did you read the books? Did you do any of that stuff? I feel like the books were super random and like no one had them. I even had like the the Pokedex book. Like I didn't have the electronic Pokedex. I had that big book that had like the big poster in the middle and you could like read everything that was in the Pokedex about all of them. So yes, let me know all of your Pokemon thoughts, feelings, nostalgic moments of wonder in the comments below or on Twitter. I'm at Clef Notes. Uh, I also have a blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the Nerdy Girl Express.com. I run their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP. I post recipes on the iZombie Sport Group site, iZombiesportGroup.com. Oh, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, please subscribe. Bye, guys.